You mentioned Tom Brady. That obviously is the biggest name for this free agency class. We still don't know where he's going to go. Although as of right now, if I were a betting man and I am not, I would say Tampa Bay is the new favorite in my mind. I don't see him staying with the Patriots. I think the 49ers thing, because it's been so long since we've heard anything, I'm starting to get a feeling that one's not going to work out. And the only team that we've heard is actively pursuing him and ready to go with the the cannonball in the cannon, pun intended, because of that pirate ship they have down there. It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So here's the thing, though. If we play this out, if we try to apply foresight instead of hindsight to this, and we see that free agency is going to be delayed. The offseason program will be smaller than it otherwise would have been in other years. It reduces the opportunity for Tom Brady to get to know new offense, new playbook, new teammates, new coaching staff, new city, new everything. Does that make him more inclined to stay put in New England for one more year, knowing that there's a greater degree of familiarity and you don't need all of those things to get yourself ready to go? I'm starting to wonder whether or not if we do see a reduced offseason program that makes Tom Brady say maybe it's good to do one more year. And it makes the Patriots, to the extent they have reservations about one more year with Brady, and specifically it would be Coach Bill Belichick, say we're, we're better off with the guy who knows our system because we has, have less of an opportunity to get a new guy up to speed. Yeah, I think it absolutely does. I, I think that if the off season is shorter and and we could learn any day now or even any hour now that the NFL is going to push back the start of the league year and make the off season shorter i think every day that it's shorter is another day that tom brady thinks to himself i don't have enough time to do this the right way because we know if tom brady goes somewhere else he is going to be highly motivated to get it right to learn his offense, to get on the same page with his receivers, uh, you know, to bring Alex Guerrero to town and get workouts going with everybody on the offense and showing them the pliability and the TB12 method. I mean, he he's going to be all in if he goes somewhere else. He's not going to be the guy who signs somewhere else and then says, okay, I'm skipping the offseason program, see you at training camp. If he goes somewhere else, he wants to be all in and he can't be all in if there is a cloud of uncertainty over the offseason and we don't even know when the offseason program is going to begin. So I think that that this could really make a difference and make him more likely to stay with the Patriots, which has been, you know, it, it it's certainly no sure thing. And, and you mentioned the Buccaneers, and, and I think there's a real possibility of that. Uh, you know, Rick Stroud of the Tampa Bay Times wrote something saying the Buccaneers are going all in on this. And, you know, he's Rick Stroud's been covering the Buccaneers a long time. He's not a guy who just goes off with hot takes. Someone in the organization has told him we're ready to make an aggressive move for Tom Brady. And so we we know at least one place really wants Tom Brady. And that's a place with a lot more cap space than the Patriots. They'll be able to offer him a lot more money, and so he, he's going to have a good offer whenever free agency starts. And to the extent that Tom Brady has grown weary of Bill Belichick after 20 years of dealing with doom and gloom, talk about the exact opposite. Bruce Arians, my goodness, a breath of fresh air, as I said earlier today on radio, that breath may have a little rum on it, but it's still the absolute 180-degree different coach than Bill Belichick, and it just makes a lot of sense for something like that to happen. Given that we, we are technically only a few days away from the start of free agency, although I continue to believe it's going to be bumped back, the Buccaneers are the team that that is the only team that is being aggressively linked to Tom Brady right now. So that's all subject to change because shorter offseason could push the Patriots and Brady back together. The short offseason in 2011 with no offseason program – with free agency in early August, that was a year that the Patriots went to the Super Bowl and they benefited from the fact that there was already that familiarity with the offense because the quarterback was the same quarterback they had the year before and they weren't breaking in a new one. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights. 
from NBC Sports.